Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad laptop. This one is Lenovo IdeaPad 120S-14IAP, also known as a model name 81A5. Those information can be found on the bottom of the laptop, on the bottom sticker if you haven't ripped yours off, but mostly they just, people usually peel these things off. I usually say do not take them off. The model name 81A5, Lenovo IdeaPad 120S-14AIP. And in this video, I'm gonna take you over on how to can how you can open it up and replace your battery. If your battery is failing and is not holding enough charge, it's not very hard to remove the battery. So let's take it and go on step by step how you can do this. First thing, you want to power off the laptop completely. Then you want to turn it upside down. And on the bottom of the laptop, on the bottom cover or bottom chassis, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. They are using a torque number 5, I believe, or torque number 8. For the screwdriver set, I'm going to be using iFixit screwdriver set. And from here, we're going to be using a... This one over here, this is a torque number five, torques number five. So we're gonna grab torques number five and we're gonna start removing all the screws. You start from any corner you want and go ahead all around to remove even the one in the middle and put them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my content, if my content helping, is helping you guys out to do your own repays, upgrades, you can click that like and support the channel. I'll really appreciate it. It will be a great support and motivation for me to make more videos and take requests from you guys and help you guys in the comment area. Once we remove all the screws, you're going to need an opening tool. You can purchase the iFixit screwdriver set with the Pro Kit. I'll leave the link in my video description. They do give you an opening tools and tweezers. If you don't want to go with uh, Pro Kit, get the basic kit. And for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers and cases. So what we're going to do here, we're going to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. Just stick it right there, about one or two millimeters all the way in. And now what you want to do, you just want to twist it towards the back. And you're going to hear a few clicks right down there. And you want to work yourself all around in the front end. Do the sides, go towards the back end. You see I'm just wiggling around like this, went to the back corner and do the left and right side. Once you did that, now you want to do on the back by the hinges, you want to stick it somewhere over there on the bottom and it should be really easy to peel it up and there we have it. Once you remove the bottom cover, and there you can go ahead and clean it up if yours is dusty. You're gonna see the humongous battery right here. This is a, I'll see one cell, two cell, three cell, four cell. These are four cells in here. So I don't know what kind of con configuration they have. Okay, and the battery connector is right over there. So to remove the battery, first let's peel this flex cable for the keyboard off of the battery has a little adhesive on the bottom so peel it off first let's go ahead and disconnect it from here so lift up this jack upward and pull flex cable back and i slowly gently go ahead and peel it off put it to one side you're going to remove the bridge cable right here from this side to that side this is extra usb port and micro sd card reader so unhook it upward and pull it out. You can put it anywhere you want. And to remove the battery, if you want to remove it, just pull this cable, all these cables backward toward the front end of the laptop, and the jack should come out pretty easy. It's really soft, there's no clips, anything in there. So just pull it out. To remove the battery, all you need to do is remove one, two, three, four, five screw, which are Phillips number one. So go actually the Phillips number zero. Let me see. Yeah, Phillips number zero. And 
Once you remove the battery, the screws, all you can do is lift up the battery gently, bring it up, and that's it. Now the model number for this battery should be just right over here. The part number it's 5B10P23779. That's the part number for the Lenovo if you want to order it from there. Or you can get it uh, off market with a different brand. But make sure you use the same model name which is here. Model name is an 081. 3007 so you can either look for this model number right here and you shouldn't it doesn't have to say Lenovo or anything like that as long as it's comes with the same model number and it's the same shape the entrance is gonna work fine because sometimes the Lenovo buys it from the different manufacturer and you just put the logo and the part number but the battery part number directly from the manufacturer would be 081307 all right, let's say that you got the new battery. All you need to do is to bring it over, align it and put it down. And uh, what you want to do, you want to make sure the red connector is facing on the left side of the jack. Bring it evenly inward and squeeze it toward the jack. And run the cable right under this hinge right there. And bring the flex cable for the keyboard in 45 degree all the way in and close the lock right on top. Same thing for this side. This one has to go right inside the jack, straight, and then lock it down. And the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom screws and put them on top. I'm gonna give you a tip on how to use your battery for initial use. It is very important how you're gonna start using your battery uh, because people usually buy their battery, plug it in, and they turn power on the laptop and they start charging and using at the same time. That's a really no-no. Then what you want to do first, once you have the battery plugged in, the battery usually comes with a 20-30% charge. So you don't want to power on the laptop at all when you put the battery in the new one. You want to plug it in in an off position. Make sure once it's off, just plug it in and let it sit down charging for about five to six hours. After four to five, six hours, then you can power it, disconnect the charger, power it on, and let it drain the battery slowly by putting a YouTube video, a movie or something. Don't put gaming or anything like that. So make sure it drains slowly all the, all the way down to 13% or 10%. Once it went down to 10%, you want to power it off completely. Then you want to plug in the charger and leave it there again for another four to five hours. And after that, then you can power it on and use it as you wish. There'll be no uh, problem there. And the reason we do that, we just want to give an one full charge and discharge without you know, having the laptop powered on at the same time. That's very important. Oh, okay. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out through your own upgrade for your Lenovo laptop. And if you guys like this video, please click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom of the screws.